What was like your first professional gig? My first real job was uh, when I was working on uh, Hamilton Island. I was doing hospitality there. Uh, what does that mean? You working at a hotel? I was working at a hotel at a resort, uh, at a like a reef resort. And uh, Sony came and they did a, a commercial for Sony Handycam for a little video camera. I was one of the models in it for play, to play volleyball. And they paid me like a ridiculous amount of money. But what I thought was ridiculous then. Yeah. And well, when you I was like, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I gotta stop modeling. So I, I started modeling. I've been modeling for two years. And then uh, I said to my agent, I said, send me out for some stuff. Send me out for some, you know, Australian shows. Yeah. And then this new show came along, Paradise Beach. And three weeks later, I'm in there auditioning. And seven times I auditioned for that, I think. They, they, they brought every, you every, back seven times? Seven times. They couldn't make the decision got, every after time three? I, no, I, every time I got worse, I think I got more nervous. <laughs> right. First time was really good. Right. So then the, the producer just, uh, he said, uh, I'm just going to go back to your first audition. That's the raw. You know, yeah, that's exactly. the raw talent right there that you that we're getting, and we just went back to that and said, you know, "This is our guy right here." That's Every time we bring him in, more he's just getting more and more. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting worse I and worse and worse. I can't screw this up. I can't screw this up. When were you able to turn that? You know, into, turn that in around. Your, you yeah, turn that around during and, the audition process. No, not the audition part. When you got the part, oh, you obviously then the had to go. Oh my God! Yeah. So when I got the part, that was it was. <laughs> When you, I mean, you obviously then, having, get, having got the part and you're doing the scene for the first time, right. you really are doing the scene for I was the first horrible. time, so you were horrible. I no. was horrible for the first six months on the show until one day I realized that don't act. <laughs> Just yeah. don't act. Just say your lines and be cool, you know. And the writing was actually really good. And I look, I look, I look at tapes now. I look back at tapes from Paradise Beach. And, they're cool. They were great scenes. They were really cool. Everybody, I saw some everybody of that. really improved, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a sweet deal. What do you want to do next, Ingo? Let totally me show you the house. Let's do it. All right. What so do you anyway, got? Anyway, let's start in the kitchen here. We really haven't done this yet. This is um, this is a uh, my mom laid all this tile. This is her little idea right here. This little tile is just like a... I was fighting around it because I said this is going to get scratched up for sure. But uh, I basically picked out all the cabinets, we went to the store, and I wanted to do something different. So I got different colors. I got the green, I got the red, and we just started putting these really cool knobs on here. Got blue again there. We got another red shelf over here, another green one here, and another blue there. So I'm just breaking it up a little bit, yep. getting kind of a funky, a little bit of a funky uh, theme going. So this is where we had, you know, this is where we had breakfast. We kind of customized everything here. This is like just rusty metal we put on there, and we put it on the sides here as well to kind of go with that theme. So that there, we really have, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do there yet. I, th I think you should put a, a fireplace there. Well, that we, we started doing that. We got the chimney and everything, so yeah. we're probably going to go with that. I think that's a good. We're probably going to go with that, but we just don't know how to finish it off yet. So. Well, dude, you got a bunch of guitars over here, so this got is like a, it's your music room until, it's... until it becomes an entertainment room, or that is the entertainment room. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to do this, the, the kind of, uh, you know, more, more music room downstairs eventually. There's another story below this, and uh, I'll probably do something there. Did you redo? The... Yes. Uh, tell me about that, because I, I, I've, I've this seen is... those before. And, uh... I got this in Australia. Basically, it's a, it's a, it's a hollow branch. I don't know if you can see inside. It's all carved out. It's pretty heavy. It's like a eucalyptus branch. Where'd you have a go? All right. Pretty almost getting it. That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn. All right, now show me how it's done. You want to show you outside here? Let's do. Let's go. Wherever you want to take. All these doors open up, which is which is kind of cool. So this is the patio out here, and this is, dude, this is the. Well, it's all part of the love nest, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that blue? Yeah. Have you ever seen anything bluer? Yeah. It's pretty blue. Brings huh? out the blue in your eyes. It's great. We're in here. We're actually in here naked, weren't we? I wasn't gonna say that. We were though. We were actually naked. This is my little private area. Well, you saw it this morning when you woke oh, me up. Oh, yes, I did. Because I was sneaking up the stairs. I think I want to do something a little, uh, I want to get some, like, uh, some, like, cool white canvasy material uh, and do some like, bamboo and kind of cover this area a little bit here. What's this uh, thing back here that, is that a, where'd you get that? Is that Mexican art? My friend brought me that back from, from Bali. That's from Bali. Oh, right Bali, there. yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I don't know if that's going to stay there. I just put it there just to add for a little bit of color. I had that behind my old bed. This is the bathroom. That's my sauna. 
room for one person? Yep. Not quite, not quite ready yet either. This is my shower. This is also this is also doubles up as a as a steam room as well. I've got two showers in here, the big rain shower, and uh, it's also a steam room. So come in here and steam with nice eucalyptus mm. oil. So you can go from dry to hot. That'll go over well with the ladies. Yeah, steam rooms are good. I love steam rooms. This All is right. where the bathtub. This is the soak tub. This is the soak tub right here. Nice. And. Uh, We've also got the, the, the soap tub. Is, it, Mom, is that an Australian got, or soap tub? Well, it's, it's not. It's not a jacuzzi tub. It's just you know, it's a bathtub. It's just a bathtub. Just a regular. Soap. Two people fit in here. Great. Yeah. Uh, I've tried that out. Um, not with you. No. Nah, so thank, thankfully, you didn't. I wasn't your, your victim. Yeah. And you can open up those doors. And you got a nice view with the palm trees there. Check it out. But then there's just the downstairs area to, to go check out, and all my motorcycles are down there, which is really the most important thing. This is my race bike right there. This is where I take on the track. It's very, very stable at high speed. How fast does this thing go? Well, at Fontana, we're doing about 155 to 160. Do you ever like, get scared? Sure, like, you Like always. panic. What if what I just went... Like, and what then, else would we do? This is the bike I'm going to be riding in our race uh, later on today? Yeah, we can take these and race these around Venice, the streets okay. of Venice. What do you think? Dude, I want to get scared. You want to get scared? Wanna you want to go scared. 150 mile an hour on the yeah. surface streets? That's what it's all about. All right, so um, so let's go then. Watch this. You see, that's what I'm talking about. What? Dude, where's my motorcycle? That's a motorcycle. For my daughter, for my seven-year-old daughter. It's juice, man. That is a powerful piece of machinery. That's all you're qualified to ride right now. We'll see. I'll take you on. Let's go, buddy. All right, this is, I'm going to take it for a little loop around Venice Beach. All right. Just try to keep up, OK? Oh, I'll keep up. Okay, so Sandsbury Collection. This is where I got a lot of my stuff. For instance, this right here, as you can see, is my bar stool, so. I recognize this. <laughs> yeah. It is, right? That's where we had breakfast on this morning. So let's go inside. Let's see if we can find anything else. I love these chairs, though, right here. These are really cool. And great prices, too. Like, 1100 bucks for these. How does it feel? It's great. Really, really great. I was thinking upstairs, putting this up, upstairs, in my, um, upstairs in my bedroom. I think you need the bongo. That's a real comfortable. It is. It's great. Oh, it's excellent. That's what kind of deal can you, uh, can you do me on that? <laughs> We're always like, don't worry, do a little dealing. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. That's 1100 We could probably go 1000 for you. 1000 bucks for me. That's pretty good. How about for me? I know you never met me. 1200 no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not for him, 1200 So where are you going? This way, that yeah, way? Let's go for a walk down the street, yeah? OK. So this is another cool clothing store right here. Yeah. The Slave. And uh, I, I get some cool stuff down here sometimes. You can poke your head in there and have a look. Oh, that's nice. Oh, feel that. Feel that. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? Really cool. It's all about how the material feels, you know? It's not about um, how it looks. It's more important how it feels. You know, Wally, I'm kind of just getting sick of hanging out with you, so I think I'm going to leave. What? And uh, call it a day. I got stuff to do, man. It's Saturday, you know, I got lady friends coming over. It's Saturday, you got nothing to do. I can't hang out with too much male too much male energy, man. I'm gonna cruise back and have a hot tub. All right, lad. Back, sorry. All right, we're out of here. Let's do uh, it. I love you, man. Let's go. In go. Ah, you're the man. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I know it was tiresome. I know Boy, you're sick of looking at me, speaking bet. to me, and the whole deal. But it was great. Have a safe trip back to the house, and uh, I'll be there in you know, a couple days. I'll be back with the... Can I go now? Yeah, you can go. Okay. Peace, love. So there you have it. A day in the life of Ingo Rademacher. He's the man.
Well, thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time on One Day.